Hi, I'm Todd Lower from the Greenfield Music Center, and this is our lesson of the month. Uh, something I see that's real common in here amongst uh, intermediates, not necessarily beginners, but uh, intermediates, is that they've learned their scale patterns, and they kind of understand the scales, and they've got a reasonable amount of technique, but when they play solos, they just sort of ramble around, and they're not really in time. Um, you want to try and make your solos fit the song that you're playing. Uh, in an ironic kind of way, the, uh, you, you have to be more savvy about rhythm to understand uh, solo guitar than you do quote-unquote rhythm guitar. Rhythm guitar, you play a rhythm and you get into a groove and you repeat it. With solo guitar, you're constantly shifting the subdivisions, right? and that creates some issues and you you may be this person you may have heard other people that just they play but they're not quite in time so uh this little uh, exercise that I've, I've written uh to help out with that is based around the uh fifth position uh a minor pentatonic scale <laughs> You don't know it you can look it up and then repeat that until you get it and what it does is it just uh, helps you understand the difference between uh, eighth notes uh, uh, triplets and sixteenths all right so with an eighth note kind of rhythm and you would normally do this with a metronome so set your metronome fairly slow if again if you're a beginner or even if you're an intermediate you, you want to learn how to play right with a click so that you really understand these things is you're going to start off by uh, playing uh, the C note here at the first string, eighth fret, uh, again from your A minor pentatonic, and it's just a uh, you're going to work your way down to the uh, seventh fret on the fourth string, the A note, and it's just one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. The next cluster is a triplet, uh, triplets uh, three eighth notes in the span of one quarter note. And that one uh, you're going to put in, uh, right? Uh, so one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. Not surprisingly, you cluster everything in threes for triplets. But it's starting in that same place. And then with quarter notes, it's four notes for every um, uh, quarter note, uh, or sixteenth notes, excuse me, it's uh, four notes for every quarter note. So in sixteenth notes you would play like one E and a two E and a three E and a four. So you'd start your click at whatever's comfortable and then you're going to play those together. speed it up after you get it done five beats at a time so if you start at 60 get it really good go to 65 get it good go to 70 uh, then speed it up and hopefully when you start working on your improvisation in your head when you hear riffs and, and melodies you'll be able to transcribe those out in your mind and uh, get them out on the fretboard better and hopefully be a better soloist in more time thank you very much